through it. So let's start right away with Carly. And Carly's asking, in brief, why do all Canadians have to wear masks? When can we reopen the economy? So Carly, I'm going to begin by showing you a video of Alberta Premier Jason Kenney answering that question during a press conference because I'm going to build off of what he says. So let's roll the video. If we want to, we want to do everything we can to avoid widespread disruption of economic and social activity in the future if we get a, a significant second wave. And so one way we can maximize our freedom is through the personal responsibility of using face coverings and masks when we cannot physically distance. So I urge Albertans, if they're in grocery stores, on mass transit, uh, in, in close proximity to others in workplaces, please be considerate. Using a mask is not a sign. I, I see on Facebook some people think it's a sign of subjugation or uh, fear. No, it's not. It's a sign of consideration for others. The mask doesn't actually substantially reduce your chances of getting infected, but it does reduce the chances of you unwittingly. So Carly, there you saw the answer. Uh, this is something I get quite often asked, especially nowadays. So let's start with some numbers. Uh, we have COVID-19 related deaths in Canada, 8,860 as of uh, today, which is July 21st. So I want to make sure that we put this into context. Statistics Canada says that in 2018, the total influenza and pneumonia deaths, so combining the two, uh, the, the regular influenza, the flu, uh, influenza is more serious than the regular everyday flu, but they combine those together and pneumonia, it causes about 8,500 deaths per year, 8,511 specifically in 2018. The Infection Prevention and uh, Control Canada says there's about 1,500 deaths from the flu every year. Um, different sources will give you different numbers, but they kind of they're always in the range of about below 10,000 over 2,000 is what you'll see. Different uh, centers, different groups of doctors who've done the research will report. And while I'm a big believer in not only focusing on the deaths, you gotta also focus on the types of people who are passing away. So typically comorbidity risks, people with other conditions, which then leads back to, should you wear a mask? Should you not wear a mask? Um, I think it should come down to people using their better judgment. Uh, you know, I think it's a sign of politeness for people to wear one. I wasn't wearing a mask at the beginning. Now it's mandatory on aircraft to wear it. I wear it in Ottawa because Ottawa uh, is one of the cities that now requires it. Uh, Ottawa, Toronto, Montreal actually require it when you're entering a building. So now I wear it here and I've started to wear it more often in Calgary as well, especially if we're going to be indoors in a grocery store. And Carly, I'm going to disagree with you on one thing. Masks do work. Um, it's not something new that's never been tried before. Mask wearing in Asia, especially Southeast Asia, especially in Taiwan, Singapore, Korea is very common. It's very common across places. Uh, in mainland China, uh, every flu season that comes, especially in the 2000s, when you look at the news and you follow Southeast Asian news and you look at the pictures, during flu season, during the winter time, people are wearing masks, cloth masks. They're not wearing surgical masks. So masks do work, which is why doctors, when they're doing surgery, wear N95 masks, so high-end masks to make sure that droplets from their mouths don't get into their patients' bodies. Um, one more thing, I just want to roll so everybody at home can see this, and so Carly can see it too. Um, here are some newspaper clippings from previous years. So just so you can see, uh, mask wearing was made mandatory at one point. It was This is from an Edmonton newspaper, The Morning Bulletin, reporting that mask wearing is now mandatory. Uh, you can see there was a debate about whether it was logical to wear masks, illogical, whether it made sense. And that's a healthy thing in democracy. Like you don't see government oppressing people. Like I'm going to differ with you here. Uh, this is not an oppression on you to tell you to wear a mask indoors in a public building. Uh, I think it would be ridiculous to tell you, you have to wear it outdoors. I don't think that makes any sense. Uh, but my personal view is uh, any business should tell you. So if you go to Costco, they may ask you to wear a mask. You go to Walmart, you go to a restaurant um, for pickup, and they may ask you to wear a mask. That is their right as a business. To, it's the same idea as if they tell you, you know, if you're wearing rollerblades or you're not wearing a shirt, you're not going to get service. Uh, in a restaurant or in a business. Same applies, I think, during this pandemic. 
uh, no mask, no service. It's the same concept. It, it's not too much to ask uh, for businesses who want to do it. Now, whether it should be made mandatory or not, you should contact your local counselor. That is the best thing to do. I think masks work, uh, especially for asymptomatic cases. It's not going to help you uh, prevent you from getting it. But if you have it already and you don't have any symptoms, it'll help prevent the spread to somebody else, which I think is what we all want. And this is not a new debate. This gets debated during every viral pandemic. If it didn't work, then uh, the Taiwanese government wouldn't be mandating, mandating them in certain situations. It wouldn't be a common thing for people to do. And if that helps us reopen the economy, and it's not just reopening economy, that's already going on. The economy wasn't shut down entirely. Some businesses were just deemed non-essential, which I think in retrospect was a big mistake on behalf of the provincial and federal governments to do that. I think in retrospect, a lot of shutdowns, once we review them in, in a broader context, uh, you know, fulsomely with all the facts, all the evidence before us, and there's a healthy debate over whether it worked or not. Um, I think on the balance, people will say this was not the best way to go. We should have just told people wear masks, which even um, the Public Health Agency of Canada said not to wear a mask and it changed its mind. Um, they do work. I wear one. I encourage others to do it too. Uh, but if you're outdoors and you're just walking around and there's nobody around you, I, I think it's, that's perfectly fine not to wear one as well. So that would be my answer to that question.